안녕하세요. <laughs> 안녕하세요. Who, who was that supposed to be? Adrian Lee? Wasn't that close? <laughs> to Kong Yu? Kong Yu, yeah. No, you need more layers to your voice. It's a little like sexy, a little velvety smooth. But I have to say, Kong Yu's voice is extremely hard to copy. Let me try again. <clears throat> 안녕하세요. Okay, okay, it got better. <laughs> Let's just say it got better, Elaine, right? Yeah, Adrian, I mean, it was a bit awkward, but you have your own charm, so Thank maybe you. you should stick to your okay. own voice. I won't change. <laughs> but the real Kung Yu has this kind of voice that the Koreans like to call Gul Poise, which is honey voice, literally. And it's because his voice is really, really sweet. I totally agree. <laughs> and once in an interview, someone asked, what's the secret to your honey voice, Gul voice? And he said, I eat honey every single morning. Now, what an adorable know. response! So cute! So cute! Girls love that, Adrian. Um, so now I know what I have to do, right? A spoon of honey every single morning, <laughs> and then I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Elaine, I think many people are also commenting on, you know, his recent activities. Can you tell us more? Yes, I have some of the top comments about his performance, Train to Busan. First is, I became a Kongyu fan again after Train to Busan. And touching messages like, after watching Kongyu, I'd like to applaud all the fathers of this day and age. Also, there are comments like, Kongyu was over 70% of the film. The zombies were scary, but Kongyu was so hot. And what was most sad was, I couldn't take my eyes off Kong Yu. That's right, it was a terrifying and thrilling ride with Kong Yu on train to Busan. And I felt like I was on Korea's high-speed train with him. Wow, is all I can say. I also saw the movie myself. I'm not a big fan of horror films or zombie movies, but I was really entertained. I wasn't bored at all. And uh, you know those zombies? Really scary with those <laughs> eyes and everything. Elaine, did you watch the movie? Yeah, it was really, really terrifying. I mean, like... Well, I actually couldn't watch half of the movie because of the way the zombies were moving. It was so realistic and it was like, it was really creepy. But I really have to applaud their, the performance. Yeah. Kung Yoo said this made, their performance made them the real stars of the movie. Mm -hmm. Well, that is such a Kung Yoo thing to say. What a gentleman. Well, the scenes that got me were, were that Kung Yoo was a dad in this movie. Yeah. And he has his daughter in his arms and he's running and he's running. And actually, Kung Yu's single in real life, but he plays a lot of dad roles. Can you tell us more about that, Elaine? I definitely can. He's really widened his spectrum by playing all of these dad roles. He's played the dad role for the fourth time this year. Let's start with his role in Togani, also known by its international title, Silence. He's a teacher that fights for the injustice and crimes against the hearing impaired. He feels the pain directly because he has a daughter himself. And in The Suspect, he plays a secret agent out to avenge his wife and daughter. In A Man and a Woman, he's a young father with a daughter diagnosed with depression. And in Train to Busan, he's a father who learns how much love he has for his daughter and family. Yeah, I was also really impressed by, uh, you know, his role as the father trying to protect his daughter. And what really helped him, that's what he said, he really uh, tries to make himself believe that this kid is his real daughter. That's his secret. So sweet. I think I'm going <laughs> to fall in love with him all over again. The child <laughs> actress Kim Suan, who plays a daughter in Train to Busan, actually calls Kong Yu daddy both on and off camera. Yeah, I guess uh, his colleagues are also complimenting him and praising him for his personality. He's a very sentimental type of guy off cameras as well. And I think uh, we have some comments about that, Elaine. That's very true. We have comments from his colleagues to prove that point. Actress Chun do Yeon from the movie A Man and a Woman said that Kong Yoo made me stir fried chicken stew, dak bukumtang, on my birthday and surprised me with a pair of sneakers that I mentioned I, that I liked in passing. And the crew from the TV drama Big said, we often saw Kong Yoo on set with the child actors on his lap, and he listened sincerely to what they had to say. Actress Jung Yoo Min, who worked with him twice, said that Kong Yoo had great manners. He gave me his handkerchief when I messed up during our scenes. And the crew who worked with him on commercials for a coffee brand he's a spokesmodel for, 
said that he brews coffee during the breaks and hands them out to the female staff. Well, I bet that coffee was extra delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I can't really make coffee for you, but I can buy you a cup of coffee if you want. Well, that's good enough. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I really know uh, how he touches his fans. Everyone seems to be in love with him these days. He definitely knows how to touch his fans' heart. And for his fans, they can look forward to his TV drama coming later this year. It's a rom-com TV series temporarily titled Goblin, starring Kong Yu. And it's scripted by the same writer as Descendants of the Sun. I heard about that too, and people are excited. We'll look forward to it. It's going to be a big treat for his fans. And talking about his fans, we also got some messages from our Showbiz Korea fans for Kong Yu, so we will focus on those right now. Yes, we did. We had a lot of messages via our social media websites. I brought some of them here with me today. Let's take a look. I like this cute one. You must marry before 40. If you haven't, I will marry you. And Kung Yu, I've missed your birthday last July 10th. Happy belated B-Day. Nice to know you're having a new drama coming out. We can't wait for that. God bless. Also this one, filled with love. We miss you so much. We really want to see you in a new TV drama. Please come back, Oppa. We love you. Fighting for Morocco. Plus, a lot of short and sweet messages like these. Excelente actor is muy atractivo. Smiley face and heart eye emojis. And thank you for just being alive. Well, I feel the love. And I also like your uh, Spanish accent there. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so yeah, Train to Busan is definitely in the spotlight. It is bringing him a lot of mainstream attraction, but also uh, critical acclaim overseas. At the Cannes International Film Festival this year, the movie got a standing ovation and also Kong Yu for his role. Yes, it did. And the movie is opening in theaters all around the world. Yes. It's already playing in the United States. And I have some more dates for you. Okay. August 17th in France, August 25th in Hong Kong, September 2nd in Taiwan, mm -hmm. just to name a few. And I hope it gets a ton of love. Yeah, critics uh, were also saying that quality wise, uh, Train to Busan is comparable to a Hollywood movie movie like World War Z and however the production costs were significantly lower 25 times lower than those big blockbuster Hollywood movies so good job yeah I don't think it'd be an exaggeration to say that Kung Yu played a major part in the success of the movie Train to Busan and it's always really nice to hear how big stars like these always are humble and sweet off camera as well and to Kung Yu fans, make sure you keep an eye out for his upcoming movie, Age of Shadows. All right, Elaine. Well, thank you very much for all your updates and your details about Kung Yu. It was pretty interesting to learn more about him and his activities. We'll see you next week again. Yep, I'll see you guys next week. Okay, viewers, stay with us. We have more updates coming your way. The fun continues.